Okay, RetroPie quick tip from the Rexer show how to install RetroPie on your PC with Ubuntu. Hopefully that's the correct pronunciation, maybe Ubuntu, not really confident. Anyway, uh, I'm using VirtualBox with Ubuntu installed on it. Uh, if you don't know how to get that installed on your PC, I'll put a link of a good YouTube video where uh, you're shown how to install VirtualBox and Ubuntu onto your PC. So you'll need that first. So let's get started assuming you have that installed. What you're gonna do here is go into Firefox and go to a website that's gonna give you instructions on how to input the commands into the terminal to download RetroPie. So we're gonna to go to the attached website there. I'm gonna link it in the comments below. You're gonna scroll down to the download instructions that fit the application that you're using. Here, I'm using a PC to install RetroPie via Ubuntu. So I'm gonna select that link in this website. It's gonna take me to this page, and I'm gonna to go to Download RetroPie. And here's where the instructions come in for downloading RetroPie. It's not an EXE file where you download and install like in uh, Windows, it doesn't work like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these commands that are in this web page, and we're gonna copy and paste them into the terminal in uh, Ubuntu. You're gonna put them in the exact order on that web page. So to get to the terminal, we're gonna to go to our search menu. We're gonna type in terminal. Ignore the RetroPie logo, that's not gonna be there for you. I already have it installed. Uh, you're going to want to add this to favorites, the terminal. So you're going to right click and add to favorites, and it's going to come up on the left side of your desktop in Ubuntu. Right there. I'm going to remove it because I have it twice. And we're going to open it up, and you're going to see the terminal box come in. This is where you're going to add those instructions or scripts into the terminal. So we're going to go back to Firefox, where those instructions are. We're going to right click and copy them. And we're going to start with the first one. We're going to go back to our desktop or our terminal. You can minimize here the window, or you can click on the terminal in your favorites. Here, I'm just going to minimize. And then I'm going to right click and paste which I suggest you do. Do not try typing because if you get one space wrong or anything wrong, it's not going to work. You're going to hit enter and then your password uh, is going to ask for your password. You're going to type it in. It's not going to look like you're typing, but you're going to type it in and hit enter. And then the script's going to run. You're going to wait for the script to run. And then you're going to get another box, another green uh, uh, command prompt. After that, you're going to go back to Firefox and you're going to take the second script instruction. You're going to right click, copy, and you're going to paste it into the command prompt. Now, when you paste and enter here, your script may be a little different because I already have RetroPie on my uh, system. So my scripts run a little different uh, in these next commands, as you'll find out. Yours are going to take a little longer. Um, so ignore exactly what happens in the terminal box for what I'm doing. That's because I already have it there. In this one, you're going to go to the third, well, the third one. Copy and paste. Then we're going to go to the next one, copy and paste, and so forth. And again, ignore what's scripting on mine because I already have RetroPie installed. Once you're done with those commands, you're going to get the RetroPie setup script and you're going to want to do the basic install. Now you may want to do the update uh, script as well that's down below in the commands there, um, but you're going to run the basic install and it's going to take a long time to install. Let it run, let it install. When it's done installing, the menu there again should pop up and then you can uh, exit out.
you're going to exit back out. You're going to go to your desktop. That is not going to be there. So I'm going to show you how to get that there, that RetroPie icon. You're going to go back to your search menu. You're going to type in RetroPie. And you'll see the icon come up. I would right click and pin uh, and add to favorites. I already did, so I'm not going to remove from my favorites. I'm going to close out of there and get back to my desktop. And we can launch RetroPie now simply by clicking. Now, the first time you launch, it should prompt you right away to configure an input. You're going to see nothing configured, but not even your keyboard if you're on a laptop. Um, and you're just going to hold down a button on your keyboard and then it recognizes it. Then you're going to configure the keyboard as normal. If you're familiar with RetroPie, you should know how to configure uh, your keyboard. And again, you just hit the buttons associated with the commands you want. Uh, hold down a button to skip and do a not defined. And then click OK. You're going to quit. And the way you do that will be quit, quit emulation station. And hit yes, and it should boot you back to the desktop. If it doesn't, it's OK to restart the whole system and shut down. Now, I'm going to try and kick you off here just a little bit, but pretty much that's the extent of the installation. Uh, what you will want to do to get kind of started with RetroPie is go to your files and you'll open them up and you'll see your folders that you may be familiar with if you have used RetroPie in the past on any other device. Uh, so you can just open up your RetroPie folder and you'll see where the ROMs go, the BIOS, etc. One tip I will give you is to uh, go back to your files, click on the menu icon up, the, up in the right there and click show hidden files. That's going to bring up all your other folders that are sometimes hidden in in uh, in RetroPie, which is your config, your emulation station, etc. Well, I hope that's enough to get you kick started. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just put them in the comments section. And uh, good luck and happy retro gaming.